Hello friends and welcome to bspsolution.com My name is Amit and today I am going to show you how to write self join as part of complex query and how to write custom defined query as well I will also talk about different optimization techniques of Tableau as well So we are continuing to using HR model and if you look at this model this is transactional model and it does not have any dimension and facts we have a tables like employee department job region and country locations and if you look at carefully we have a dimension called employee which has got self join where employee id is the primary key which in turn join with manager id so this is self join keeping this model in mind let's see the first requirement so in first requirement, I'm going to show you how to write custom defined SQL query and self join. The query is very simple. We would like to display all the employed name and their manager details who join before their employee. Right, so all the employee who join before the employee, I like to see the list of all those employees and their manager detail. Now there are two ways to achieve this task. One way we can write custom defined SQL query. Right, so I've given a SQL query over here is a fairly simple you see the employee table has got two instance E1 and E2 I could have given a meaningful name like employee and manager and they join on manager ID and employee ID right where the manager ID hired before the employee ID so I have made over here employee ID hire date has uh, is lesser than the employee manager ID hire date and here I'm going to display manager name employee name and Other details of employee their hiring details and blah blah blah. This is one way of Solving this problem. There's another way of solving this problem by using custom defined by using self join So let's see the first step number first how to create custom defined SQL query so I'll take something big just take this query and use this query in my tab view. So the step first, I'm going to connect with Oracle database and I'm using a HR scheme over here and there's an option called custom SQL. If you look at further, you have got all the tables like customer, employee, department, job and blah, blah. Because a transactional model, there's no dimension and fact. So when you drag and drop, you have option to write custom defined SQL query. You can parameterize this as well. Rather than using hard coded value like hire date and all, you can write a parameter. But in this example, I'm going to make it simple. So when you click on OK, you can give a custom defined name of the query. I would name it over here employee and managers. When you go to sheet one, you can clearly see we have information about employee manager employee hire date and manager hire date for the sake of simplicity we keep only few members so I drag and drop say manager manager hire date and you see dates are by default a roll up to the year but this is exactly now I don't want to show them I want to show the date by MMDD Viva or DDMM by okay. so I go to custom date format and select month date and year right and then I display manager name employee name so under Adam three employees three employees are reporting to Adam this is manager hire date let's see employee hire date again employee hire date is also by default roll up to year so I'm going to change the format to MMDD YY month day and year so I can see clearly Adam hired on 10th of April and all the employee hired before that. So I need to swap the sign. The manager hired on 10th of April, all the employee before hired before the uh, manager ID. So this is one way of solving this problem. There's one more way which I'm going to show you 
this shows the beauty and intelligence of Tableau. So I'm going to drag and drop employee information twice. Right? First name, the first name of table is continued to be employee. Second is an alias name of employee and I'll tag it as manager. And by default, it automatically join on employee ID and manager ID. This is default. Tableau has an intelligence to identify the self join automatically. But I like to see all the employees <coughs> who hire before their manager. So I use hire date, then manager hire date. Right? This is one way. So this is another way you can apply self join with the same primary key and the foreign key within the same table. And I apply over here a relational operator. Now let's see how it work. So I do the same thing exactly. In this example, the beauty is that in addition to hire data employee, I can use other column as well. So I use employee first manager name under manager. How many employees are hired? Uh, manager name and employee name, right? So under Adam, there are four employees. Then I look at the hire date of manager. Again, I display this should be hire date of employees, not manager. And I change the format as MMDDYY, month, date, and year, right? And I drag and drop manager hire date. Again, I change the format as custom format, month, date, and year. So you see, well, I need to swap the sign. It's other way around. So all these employee hired after manager. I'll swap this sign. Uh, greater than employee ID. I just swap the sign to get the right data. Now this makes sense. Now if you compare my current output and previous output, they're exactly same. So under Adam, there are three employees. Adam hired on 10th of April and other all other employees are hired before Adam. This is exactly what I wanted to show you. Yeah. In addition to this, you can also use other majors like I like to see salary of the employees, salary of the manager and so on. Salary of employee and salary of manager. Okay. Now, you have got two methods. Which method is recommended? I would always recommend to use data model rather than using custom defined query. The custom defined query adds a lot of maintainability. If you underline metadata changes, you need to manually modify custom defined query. And the maintenance turns out to be very high. And over the period of time, it becomes a tedious task, a difficult task to maintain your report. Therefore, as far as possible, write your data model. Create your data model and create your query. This first part of the training, we continue talking about more advanced example of writing uh, custom defined query and data modeling. Please subscribe to our channel. And thanks for watching today's video. In a subsequent session, I'm going to show you more than 200 case studies of building a dimension model and data model and Tableau. So thanks for joining today's session and have a great day.